So I want to do a quick video just uh, as a thank you as well as just to show this stuff off. I had a viewer from Montana who was talking to me through uh, Instagram who does, uh, well he has a ton of different hobbies, but one of his hobbies is making custom fishing lures. And he had surprised me with these, which I thought was really, really cool. So I wanted to share with you guys. So these are fully custom made uh, fishing lures. And you know what, totally as an aside, I never really thought to do this. This is how they arrived. And he used little pieces of uh, sponge, you know, just regular kitchen sponge. Uh, just cut little nibs off there to protect the hooks. I thought that was a really cool idea. So that within itself was very smart. I don't know if that's commonly done, but that's certainly something I'll do in the future. So when I have a big old tackle box and stuff, you know, you reach in, you don't want to get poked, obviously. Uh, I do have actual hook covers, but they're only better for the larger hooks. So this is a perfect solution for the small ones. But anyway, he did an awesome job on these. That was really, really well, well done. And this one was a big surprise because he put my uh, logo on the top. How about that? So I have a Cutlery Lover branded lure now. All right, and then he's got his signature on the bottom. That was really, really cool. And he sent uh, two jigs as well. And another lure in here. Here's the jigs, and I'm actually really excited to try these on some uh, panfish, like bluegill. I did not get a chance to go out and do any kind of ice fishing this year, which was a huge bummer. <clears throat> it just never got cold enough, and you know, maybe the one or two weeks that the ice was okay to walk on, still dangerous, but maybe possible. Uh, you know, I don't push it anyway. I wouldn't walk out personally. I know I could walk out. In maybe three to four inches, but I'm way more comfortable when it's like five to six inches of ice. Um, just so I know if there's a soft spot or there's a weak spot or something like that, I don't really have to worry about it. The last thing I want to do is fall in the in the water. But uh, but yeah, um, never got a chance to get out. Just never got cold enough. But anyway, the the time that it did get cold enough, I just wasn't able to do it. So it's a scheduling thing as well. But here's another Lord. Just beautiful. He did a really good job on these. I just thought it was really nice. I wanted to show it off. Talk about the little sponge idea, which I thought was pretty cool as well. I'm very much jonesing to go fishing. You know, it's kind of weird because here in Pennsylvania, there was conflicting information early on. You know, when the fishing season started, obviously all this, uh, you know, crap started happening with the virus. And, um, you know, some people are going out fishing. I went out fishing once or twice. I have a little bit of footage. I'll probably show that at some point. Um, you know, maybe, maybe not. But uh, I really didn't, didn't get to go out much at all. And then all of a sudden this hit, and then, you know, it's very conflicting. Oh, you can go out fishing. Social distancing is fine if you fish. But then in my area, they literally blocked off, like, the boat launches and stuff. They put up the gates, you know, so you couldn't go out fishing. You know, so, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait, like a lot of other people. Uh, fishing can very much be a social distancing experience. Uh, however, um, you know, a lot of people go out in groups, or they, I guess... I guess the state fears that everyone's going to congregate and everyone's going to go fishing at the same time, therefore coming in contact with each other again. So, I don't know. Uh, I'll do the right thing and I'll, uh, I'll wait, I'll hold off, but uh, I'm very much looking forward to fishing. And I'll be doing a lot of fishing this summer. I mean, a ton. Every chance I can get. I'm looking for that, my personal best on uh, bass as well as the bluegill. Because there's some chunky ones where I go fishing and, uh, you know, hoping to get that 10-incher. So we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to this person. He knows who he is on Instagram. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Montana is a beautiful place. I've only driven through. I never actually got to really experience the state, but I mean, talk about beauty. So anyway, shout out to all the viewers from Montana. Down in the comment section, let me know, do you fish? And if you fish, uh, let me know if there's a specific type of fish that you fish for. Obviously, there's a fisherman that love variety. Uh, for me, as I've mentioned many times in the past, the majority of my fishing has been on ponds, not lakes. So I've been very limited to, uh, you know, largemouth bass, um, catfish, and a bluegill, pretty much. Uh, a couple other species over the years, but uh, that's really all I've ever caught, you know. So uh, things like perch, um, you know, crappie, those are all new to me. Only in the last couple of years have I been catching those types of uh, species. So it's just uh, it's a really fun experience. I've never been uh, ocean fishing either. So that's a whole different thing, you know, but fishing is very fun. It's extremely relaxing. You can go out with a buddy, you know, or family member, um, friends, and, and really enjoy it together. Um, I'm a, I like fishing by myself, except, of course, if, you know, any loved ones want to go. If I, 
I fished with Christina, had an awesome time because it was the two of us. I fished with my father. That's a very big bonding time for me. You know, once it's really rare, but once in a blue moon, me and my father are able to get together, get in a boat and go out fishing. That's a father son thing. And I love it because it was something that I got to do a lot more when I was younger, not so much as an adult. So I appreciate it that much more going out with my dad. Uh, but more times than not, I like fishing alone. That's part of it. It's getting away from everything um, and just forgetting about everything. And you just basically just stare off and have all kinds of random thoughts and just relaxing and until you get that little nibble. And then, of course, it's not relaxing anymore. <laughs> it becomes uh, quite exciting and or stressful. So anyway, <laughs> that's it. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.